Welcome to our lecture online. For our second example, to find the moment of inertia, we're going to take a rectangle and I'll place the center mass right on the y-axis there. So how do we find the moment of inertia for something like this? We recognize the symmetry. The left side looks exactly the same as the right side. And if you think of both sides of rotating around the y-axis, you can then realize that we, take the, we find the moment of inertia of this one side and simply double it. So that means that this now becomes twice the integral, because we're going to have to integrate over all the little da's. We're going to integrate the distance to our area element, x squared times da, but now the limits are going to be from 0 to l over 2, because we're only doing it for half the length here, and then simply doubling the results. So that then becomes equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to l over 2, of x squared, and our area element is the height h times the width dx. And taking the h outside the integral sign, we get 2 times h times integral from 0 to l over 2 times x squared dx, and that we can easily integrate. That becomes x cubed over 3, so this is 2h times x cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to l over 2. Now when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0. When we plug in the upper limit, we get the following. This is 2h times, and I can take the 3 out here, 2 over 3h, times the quantity l over 2 to the third power, which is equal to 2h l cubed divided by 3 times 8, because 2 cubed is 8, and so this becomes 1, this becomes 4, or 1 twelfth h l cubed. Now realizing that the area of that rectangle is length times h, so this can then be, we can take that out and write this as 1 twelfth h l times l squared, and of course h l is the area, so that's 1 twelfth times the area times l squared. And just like we did before, if we assume that this was an object that had mass, the moment of inertia would be 1 twelfth ml squared, but in this case, instead of using the mass, we use the area, so it's 1 twelfth al squared. Now remember what we did in the previous video, when we put the object at the very end, then we realized the moment of inertia is 1 third al squared, but in this case, with the center mass at the y-axis, the moment of inertia is 1 twelfth al squared. And that's how it's done.